everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I thought I would review the weekly tracking results from last week, off this week with the holiday. Here's me. Any questions, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com or give me a call at 929-3200-GAP. So it really is about chunking it out. Uh, you know, some people are so focused looking at the whole year. Well, that can be overwhelming. I find it is more important to just look at it step by step by step, trade by trade by trade, day by day, week by week. When you break it down and think of it like that when you chunk it out, it's a lot easier. And some days you don't trade because there isn't anything good. And some days there's a loss. So the way to better handle that is accepting that it's only one trade or one day. And it helps you better in your mind and comprehend how you can still achieve your goals. Even if you have one bad day, you can still meet your goals for the week or the month or the year. So it's really about conceptualizing it, understanding this is about chunking it out if you're actively day trading, okay? So last week, which was June 25th through the 30th, was, was not an active week. It's not earnings season. Earnings season doesn't start till July. However, you know, there were days where there were things to do. So you get up every morning, you look for the gap, I usually try to focus on one stock, ticker symbol a day, and I've been doing this now for 10 years. So Monday was CCL. This is an advanced trader risk. So I say advance $1,500 to $1,800. You don't have to risk an advanced risk. I'm going to go over beginner risk in a minute. Tuesday, no trades. Wednesday was CAG. That was a good one. Early exit on that really continued, $1,650. Thursday was WBA. Stop on the first one. Second one, really nice one in the WBA later, 37.60. Friday off, and again off this week. So weekly total, really pretty good, even though two days no trades and then one loser. So you can see it really is about chunking it, chunking it, chunking it, and making sure also that you're booking the profits when you are up and keeping your losses limited, which I use stops, and I do call the stops in the room for everyone as well. Now, weekly beginner results, this is if you're risking between $150 and $180. I would consider that a beginner risk. And anyone right after the class should start out at least the first week risking on beginner risk, I would say, unless they feel comfortable uh, with all the class information risking more. CCL, 180. Tuesday, again, no trades if you followed me. Wednesday, CAG 165. Thursday, WBA, first one's a loss, second one was a winner. Friday off, you could have made $571 that week. And again, for a, a non-active week, this is pretty, pretty good. So if you're risking a small amount, you're gonna have smaller profits, but at least you'll be up and you can build a small account because you obviously can't risk, going back here to this kind of risk, $1,500 a trade if you have a small account. But to be able to make 5,710 bucks a week or anywhere, anywhere where there's a couple thousand dollars a week is very is very good and you can see then how you can put together a month uh you know a 20 grand month so or more this was a, just a slow week and and again earnings season is very very active for what i do with gaps so just to quickly look here it's going to go back show you this was the gap on monday in ccl stock closed here gap down dropped fell and this was, a, this was a bigger move than expected even on this. So all of these trades are shorts. So that was the short on Monday. Tuesday, no trades was on TV. Wednesday was CAG. Again, this went to the dream target. Gap down, closed the night before up around 38.20, open in the morning around 37. Beautiful entry, beautiful call on the CAG, fell. Huge, huge move all day. You could have done this all day long, actually, the CAG. Nice short. Wednesday was WBA. This was a little trickier. Closed here, gap down, pretty big gap down for this stop. Rally, then broke. Kind of was tight with the stop on this one. Got stopped. Some people stayed with it, redid it, knew it was a good gap, fell, broke. Again, had a big move. So a little bit trickier on the Thursday, but still really nice. And Friday off, uh, off for the July 4th week. So the one nice thing about trading is if you want to be an active day trader, you don't have to work all day with what I do. It's focusing on the morning trades. You have to be available between 9.30 and 10 a.m. If you can do that, work from home or even from your office, wherever you are, before you go into the office, you need a computer and an internet connection, and you have to open up a brokerage account. But the most important thing really is learning my system and taking my class. It allows you entrance and entry into my live trading room. It's 
It's July 4th week. It's a time a lot of people think about the freedoms that we have in this country if you live in the United States of America and all the things that we have and are blessed to have. And one of them is the fact that we live in a society where you can trade. You can trade the market. You don't have to go to school for years and years and years to learn how to do this. We have the benefit of, of having the free market. You can come and take my class on a two-day class in a weekend and learn everything you will need to know to trade gaps, to pick the stock and take the entries and exits, and then join my live trading room and, make, and take the calls with me and make the trades yourself. So it's great. You can be anywhere in the world and also trade the US market, which is terrific too. So again, you can do this from home. And if you're interested in my class, it's called the Golden Gap Course and it's one strategy one focus so it is july 14th and 15th 9 to 5 eastern time the cost of the class is 54.99 us dollars class is online email me at melissa at the stock squish.com if you want to sign up okay and don't forget earlier signups are better to secure your spot and it's earnings season in july it's going to be a great time to trade thanks everybody have a great day